this morning. Uh, still in clear water. Had a good snooze in my beautiful suite. I actually left the door open so I could hear, hear the sounds of the ocean. It was nice. And it's looking like it could be a pretty beautiful day out there. I've got some work to do this morning, but other than that, it's gonna be about getting out there again. supposed to be a perfect day out there today and I'm going to do a nice 80k ride plus or minus an ocean swim. We'll see. Super excited. So let's get after it. Gotta get some work done first. I wonder where the coffee's at in here. This looks promising. that results in coffee. So I've been spending the morning getting some work done, finishing up editing on yesterday's video, which is taking a little longer than anticipated. And I was sitting out on this balcony here and just uh, enjoying it, having some coffee. And I look out and I see this like in the water, this like all this craziness. And I'm like, what the heck? So then I zoom in and then this is what I see. splash and a big and a fin. What are you? Bro. I can't even right now. Okay, I think that's probably a dolphin. That's right where I was swimming yesterday. Dolphin? Shark? You tell me. I don't know. But that's wildlife out there in that space. The thing is, I think maybe if the water was clear, actually, and I could see, maybe that would be better because I could at least see the thing lurking below coming for me. But out there, you can't see anything. And so literally I could be swimming along and there's 500,000 hammerhead sharks right underneath me. That's exactly what's happening actually. I'm certain of it. Okay. Another fun detail about this place. If you call downstairs and say, um, I'd like some Starbucks, they'll bring you some. It's so good. Love that. Okay. Brekkie time. And then I guess I'll go get in that body of water. Uh -oh. So, back at the beach, another open water swim. I realized I didn't have my contact lenses, so I was like, oh shoot, maybe I won't be able to do that swim, but I can't see anything in there anyway, so I'm gonna go for it. So again, just gonna keep this super chill. We're literally gonna do 10, 15 minutes, like just just to do it, just to just to get a bit of swimming in. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. Oh, it's chilly. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Sorry for all the noise. 
like I said, big developments, big construction zone around here. Anyways, that swim went super well. Really happy I did it. No wildlife run-ins despite the earlier sighting. And uh, just gotta keep on keeping on. Ah, well, as fun as it's been to hang out here, it's time to go. As usual, all good things must come to an end. And so on to more good things. Uh, the next order of business is a ride. So we're gonna leave now the hotel, checking out, heading that way. So let's go. So still in Clearwater, just in a different location. I've got this 76K ride that I'm gonna do now. Um, it's great, it's like the warmest part of the day. It's like super sunny and brilliant and awesome and it's gonna be killer. Don't know how this trail is. I think it's mostly paved. Um, it should be pretty fun. I actually passed by it, got a glimpse of what it looks like. It looks like there might be a lot of road crossings, which could get annoying. We'll have to just wait and see. Either way, um, I'm super pumped. And we'll get out and get after it. So I'll take you along for the ride and uh, we'll see what we find. After that, probably I'm gonna drive back to Claremont. A short but very sweet little moment in Clearwater. Okay, let's ride. Bike's all ready. And I'm all ready and it's time to ride. Let's do it and go. Already 12K in, beautiful day. Can't complain, not minding this at all. It's a lot of road crossings though, which make it uh, a bit challenging. k in so I think I'm about 30k in in some kind of little neighborhood no idea where I am I'm just following the map but having fun so gonna need to get a water stop in somewhere I didn't bring enough classic -hoo -hoo. 39k in I'm in this really cool like gated community, lots of palm trees, kind of shaded, it's really nice. Got a bit lost, the Garmin was telling me to do U-turns and I was like, Ugh. but I figured it out, back on track now. Moving a little slower than I expected, but I think I'm still a bit tired. Just gonna keep on going, just gotta keep on pedaling. Oh man, Garmin is really struggling today. I am off course, I had to redirect a few times, had to stop and get the old Google Maps out. I don't know, this ride's taking way longer than I thought it was gonna take. But it's beautiful, I'm riding through this park right now. There's this like body of water over here. It's a pretty place to get lost, but hopefully in the next hour or so I can get back to the car. We'll see, I guess. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. I am 47 kilometers into this ride. Damn. Guys, this ride is a shit show. Totally my fault. I should have been more cautious when selecting the route. I had to uh, go AWOL on this route and uh, YOLO a new course. We'll see how it goes. Did nice. you see the monkeys? What? That would have been interesting. I think orangutans and... Uh, what? Yeah, big ones. Oh, crazy. Oh, that'd be cool to see. That's fun. Next nice. time. Oh, that's pretty neat. You get to see those every day. All right, that's good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Eric. nice to meet you too. Next yeah. time you come, please come in. Yeah, I will, for sure. I didn't even know you guys were here. I love the uh, Welcome Back Blue Jays. That's always fun. It's, yes, uh, we love the <laughs> 
another traveler, another wanderer. Always making friends. Well, that's that ride done. It was um, not what I anticipated it was gonna be, uh, which is always fun, it adds a bit of adventure. I had to figure out the navigation like a million times, so it was a lot of stopping. So, all in all, my fault. I should have plotted that route out a little bit better. I should have been a bit more cautious when selecting the route. I just kind of went with something from Ride with GPS and yeah, risky business. Lots of left turns and busy traffic, lots of really busy roads. It was not all path as I thought it was gonna be. I should have just, I should have looked at it, but I didn't, so. This is what happens sometimes. You go to a new place, you try new things. Sometimes you get bit. Well, not bit, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, well, the lighting in here is not great, but I just need to tell you that my plan now, I don't have one. Uh, I'm still on the Gulf Coast, and I think I'm gonna go back to Claremont. It's like rush hour, I might grab a bite to eat. I don't know what's around here. I might just look for like a subway or something. I don't really care. I hope it's good, but it doesn't have to be. And then, yeah, going back to Claremont. Today's been a pretty chill day. That's the trail that I was on. Goes all the way up there. Stopped in for some Mexican food, dinner before I hit the road. I didn't bring my regular glasses, so I'm sitting in here in this, in this dark room with my sunglasses on, looking way too cool for this place. Anyways, getting some enchiladas, pretty stoked on that. Just made it home, back at the house. It's just as I left it. Spick and span, like I said, I've been working on it. It was a pretty uneventful two hour drive back from Clearwater. If you know me, you know that I call my family and friends when I'm driving. So that's the time that I kind of used to get caught up with people and that's what I did this drive. I talked to Steph for the first third, talked to my brother for the middle third, and then talked to my dad for the last third. So yeah, pretty good to uh, catch up with everyone and keeping people apprised of everything I'm doing. Um, although they're all watching the vlog so they know they all know. Yeah, not too much going on today. Started with uh, getting some work done early morning at the hotel in Clearwater. Got out for an ocean swim, then headed out, did a ride, um, which ended up being kind of an annoying route. I'm not gonna complain about it. Super happy with, obviously the physical environment is great. It was sunny, perfect weather, love to be outside. That part was totally great. But I need to do a better job of reviewing these routes before I ride them because this was like borderline not safe. It was like kind of horrible. Anyways, that's okay, it's done. And then went for Mexican food, had a quick bite, hit the road. So yeah, there's only so many hours in the day and I've been filling the days. And so now I'm gonna to try to get some work done, get to bed at a reasonable hour. Tomorrow is a new day, gotta get up and ride, so I'll take you along for the journey. All right, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Um, pretty chill day, glad you were able to join me for it, and uh, see you tomorrow.